holy salute, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. I got a, a praise report and there's something on my heart I want to do. Um, this morning, my wife woke up with her eyes swollen. It was so, it was swollen shut. Last night, a bug bit her. And she woke up this morning and it was swollen shut. Um, I wish I would have made a video of it, but that's all right. Um, so I felt moved to lay hands on her and put anointing oil on, on her eye. And uh, it's been a few hours that have passed, praise God. And uh, I want to tell you, you know, I know words don't don't express and, and explain it, but I, I just rejoice inside. Um, her eye is almost completely normal now. This morning she could hardly see it was swollen shut. So glory be to God for, for the little miracles that he still shows that he's with us to those who believe and uh, follow his spirit and obey in his word and do what we're told to do in the word. Amen. So signs, there be that follow them. Hallelujah, Jesus, that we are your children. And that because you are in us, healing can take place. Even right now in our bodies, as the Lord is in us, is constantly renewing us and giving us strength. So when we rest at night, we rest in Him. Hallelujah, Jesus. I feel led to sing a song. I don't usually do things like this, but. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. Hallelujah, Jesus. You are Emmanuel, God with us. Truly, truly. Nobody can't tell me my God ain't real. There's nobody on the face of the earth can tell me different than what I know in my mind, in my heart, in my soul, in my spirit. So I want to sing this song because one day, church, one day, brothers and sisters, it will all be over. The Bible says it will wipe every tear away from your eyes. All you're going through right now will be worth it at the while. You may not make a dime today. The payday is coming after a while. You may not, you, you may work for, uh, oh, I'm going somewhere with this. You may, you may work for free, pro bono. But what we do, we do for God. Payday is coming after a while. Now think on that thing and ponder. God is with us. He's for us. And if he be for us, who can be against us? Hallelujah to the Lamb. To the Lamb of God that was slain for the remission of sins. And if he has called you his own, nobody can say that you're not his. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. This song right here says 1933, Hart, Hartford Music Company. Wonderful message, Albert Brumley. It's called I'll Fly Away. 1932. I've never, for some reason, I've never looked at the, up, up under in a small print, up under the music. I'll Fly Away. <clears throat> Lord help me. Some glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shore. I'll fly away. I'll This life have grown out like a bird from pr 
prison bars have flown, I'll fly away. I'll fly away, oh glory, I'll fly away. To a home on God's celestial shore, I'll fly away. I'll fly away, oh glory. I'll fly away. When I die, hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. Just a few more weary days and then I'll fly away. To a day where joy shall never end, I'll fly away. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. To a land where joy shall never end. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. So that concludes the videos for the day that God laid on my heart. And, um, uh, some of the things that he had me do, things he had me to share, strange things he had me uh, uh, speak, or how he had me to deliver a message. But that's how it is. I mean, God is not <clears throat> one who, who will bore you. God is not one who will put you to sleep. God is a very miraculous God, and He's ever powerful, He's ever all knowing, and uh, He's very mysterious. God works in mysterious ways. Amen. So if we just be obedient to Him and what He says to do and the way He's leading us to go, everything's going to be all right. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I just, I just like to uh, say this. If you don't know the Lord, you might have heard it before, if you don't know the Lord as your personal Savior, I'm talking to you. God loves you. He wants you to come to Him. He wants you to restore you. He wants you to lay your head on His chest and say, It's all right, son. It's all right, daughter. Come on home. Now is the acceptable time that we turn to Him because time is short. No, no man know the day or the hour. No man know the day or the hour. But the Lord's Spirit is crying out, saying, Now, now, now is the acceptable time to come to me, to get to know me before it's too late. Before I remove my spirit from the face of the earth. But the Bible says that the spirit shall not always strive with man. But one day it's going to be removed. And the church is going to be called away. They're catching away. Being called up. In the book of Revelation in chapter 3 the church is mentioned. They don't get mentioned again until Revelation 19. Why? Because of chapter 3, they're gone. And they come back on white horses in chapter 19. And then that's so, so you start to ponder that and think about that. And then, time is short. It's time to, to give our life to God. And stop playing. Um, start being, stop being spiritual. And start being real. Now, what I do, I do not do for money. I don't make any money off of what I do, nor do I care for money. Or, you know, I, I just want to reach the lost. I want to give a testimony, an account, day by day, that I'm trying. I'm trying, God. I'm trying, Lord. I'm trying to deliver your message. I'm trying to reach the lost. I'm trying to pray for brothers and sisters. I'm trying to uh, gather in assemblies. I'm trying to go to the corner and preach. I'm trying to go to the prison. I'm trying to go to the highways of Haiti. I'm trying to feed the, uh, uh, the homeless. 
I'm trying to lay hands on on, on the sick and they be healed in your name. All for your glory and for your honor, Father. So that's what I do. That's why I do these videos. And one reason I never put my street preaching ministry on YouTube is for one, I hardly ever share what's done in the church or the movement of God when he moves. Hardly ever, unless he says, um, hardly ever, I'm like 90, 95 to 99%, I never share any prophetic utterance from a church. I never share uh, none of it. Uh, when I visit churches, and so with the same movement on the street corner, I'm not going to sit there and record myself so that I could put it on YouTube and say, "Oh, look at me! Look at what I'm doing." That's not how. That's not how I'm operating. Um, I'm not bashing you if you do it. That's just not how I do it. Because a lot of times when the Spirit of God comes upon me to preach. In the middle of nowhere, in on the street corner or something. Uh, I don't got time to hold on. Let me get my phone out. It doesn't happen like that with me. I don't go out there with a plan and say I'm gonna do this this way. It just moves on me, and then it happens. Um, so that's one one of the main reasons why when I street preach, you know, street ministry minister to people is uh I don't record it but uh I may I'm gonna talk to God about it and pray about it I may make a video of it one time uh just me going handing out tracks and talking to people about uh God but uh I don't have nobody that can hold a camera for me so I would have to hold the camera walk witness hand out tracks and, and everything, you know, and that would be a little bit difficult for me, but uh, I'll pray about it and think about it. Until next time, I hope you've enjoyed the videos today. I hope they've encouraged you or edified you or exhorted you or lift you up or taught you something you didn't know in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Next time, many blessings. Christ love always we lift his name up salute brothers and sisters in Christ I love you God loves you far more far more be blessed Jesus name